Hey everyone, um, it's Sunday, the day after Record Store Day here in Australia, and cheers everyone. Uh, this is a gin and tonic. Uh, record Store Day for me, for Craig Vinyl CV, was... Look, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I don't go all out on Record Store Day. Uh, for me... Uh, I'm more old school with you know wanting to collect the original stuff. Um, I'm more old school when it comes to not wanting to pay too much money. But as my collection grows and I'm looking for more niche sort of items, it's hard to escape that. So crowds I don't like. Um, but having said that, there was one album I was interested in, and it's by an Australian band called Jebediah. And I mentioned them in a few video a few videos ago when I went to the Midnight Oil concert. If you want to look back through my video history, you'll see just a little video about them and me talking. Anyway, um, they I was reading they re-released their debut album Slightly Odd Way, which I don't have on CD. My wife does, and I've sort of grown to like them more over the last couple of years. Sort of you know, expanding more through their repertoire, not just the hits. So. And it was obviously a reissue. Uh, this quick edition. I'm going to be really quick here because this is basically some old school vinyl I picked up recently from from one uh, seller. And uh, let's just get straight into it. We'll start with the 45s uh, on W8 Motley Cruise Kickstart My Heart. And she goes down. And also uh, Rattlesnake Shake. Don't go away mad. So I don't. Up until now, I didn't have any Motley Crue at all. And then I got this. Shout the Devils is 1983. Uh, I haven't played these yet, but what a kick-ass album this was when it came out. And when I first looked in this gatefold, I was slightly disturbed. But anyway, you'll see what I mean. There's Tommy. So the good old early uh, 80s, mid 80s rock, glam rock, uh, what do you want to call it? But nonetheless, don't, don't let those uh, <laughs> don't let those pictures fool you. It's a for memory is great, great music. I love how the uh, first song is kind of like a uh, it only goes for 30 seconds or something. It's kind of like introing the band as if you're at a gig or something like that. And then it goes into uh, Shout at the Devil. Great stuff. So it comes with the original inner sleeve. And I think it's on the Electra. Then we go to 1985's Motley Crew again, Theatre of Pain. And um, this has uh, Smoking in the Boys Room with the inner sleeve. As you can see, it's all in uh, beautiful condition. That's on the red and black Electra. Then we go to a 12-inch uh, a with a limited free poster, and the poster's actually there, which is awesome. So it's without you. It's also got girls, girls, girls on side B. And just to show you, And, uh, you know, I've got a few albums now with posters like that from the 80s and less. You know, did, did we, when we, when we were that young, did we put that stuff up on our walls? I guess we did, but uh, it's quite funny to look at now. But that was the day. That's on a, a different looking Electra label. Let me go to, uh, I think it's 87's Girls, Girls, Girls. And Girls, Girls, Girls is probably probably my favourite sort of go-to Motley Crue song. It has to be really loud. That's a bit three quarters of the, of the way through the uh, song. Uh, but it's kind of like a little bit of lead, a bit of rhythm sort of going with no vocal. I uh, love that bit, so that's Girls, Girls, Girls. 
got the original uh, sleeve, which looks like a photo steal from the uh, film clip, as I as I remember it, on the black and red Electra. Then we go to, I think it's 1989's Dr. Feelgood. Man, I remember this. I was 16 when this came out. And I remember uh, a couple of the lads from Motley Crue on a local Australian music video show on the ABC, which came out after Countdown had finished. It was called something like Revolution. Was it Countdown Revolution? I can't remember. And I remember they had a, uh, a guitar. Um, they were trying to win as a, you know, as a competition on the show and I think I did have quite a few entries and I was excited thinking I was going to win it and uh, I didn't win it but you know, songs like uh, Dr. Feelgood, Kickstart My Heart, um, yeah, at 16 that was just incredible rock, just goes straight through your body, straight through your veins, it's just magic and I think I drove my parents crazy every time it was played on the top 40 but good memories. Uh, original sleeve again. Probably a bit unusual to get original sleeves from a lot of, you know, in this really good quality, from those sort of albums. Um, most people trash that kind of stuff back in the day, but it's on that sort of black and white Electra. And lastly, uh, this is about a 1989. No, 1990, I think. Um, anyway, let's just get straight to it. It's Skid Row's... What do they call it? 18... Not 18 in life. Self-titled, of course. <laughs> of course, the big ones was... Uh, I Remember You, which is on side two. And... 18 in life on side one. They were the two big hits in Australia. Especially I Remember You. Um, learning guitar, I guess anyone who's learnt guitar when you were a teenager when this came out, surely you learnt I Remember You. Hands up. <laughs> yep. See? Told you. Um, I've got no... I guess I do. It's in the sleeves, not the picture. Just uh, the words. And um, that's on that uh, Led Zeppelin type Atlantic label. So yeah, nice sort of pick up there. Um, pricing was really good. Quality was great, which I'm pleased with. So there you go, some old school rock. Happy Record Store Day weekend, wherever you are. And look forward to seeing your finds on Record Store Day. Cheers.